That's the question, skepticism. And uh, what does he do with that? And what do people do with that when you start to see healing after healing, this body of work that's developed? Do you stay skeptical? And what does that mean about you? You know, so. And those are questions that you asked of Dr. Namey. Right. And we're gonna air that and um, that part of the interview right now. We all, yours truly included, enter into this skeptical. We all, we all have skepticism. How do you address skeptics? Uh, skepticism is, uh, is uh, part of our physical consciousness. Especially when we are dealing with the spiritual uh, uh, part, uh, because it's the invisible one. So to, to, when people come in, the first thing I expect is, uh, is skepticism. I don't expect anybody to be to be positive. Uh, that's the reason Jesus healed people to begin with, uh, as as part of uh, of the evidence that God is willing to provide for people in order for them to open up and have uh, uh, a spiritual life, uh, um, believing. So we don't expect people to believe without seeing. Even Thomas himself, uh, the disciple of Christ, uh, even knowing, living with, with uh, Jesus for uh, three years, witnessing all the, the miraculous, um, had uh, doubts. He wanted to put his hand in, in the wounds. And Jesus provided that evidence for him. And that's the... That's the uh, uh, the main work that we, we do as servants of Christ. God uses us uh, in order for us to provide the evidence for people and make it easy for them to, to believe and, and, and uh, be saved. When we see one person healed and not another, a, a parent but not a child, vice versa, address why God works this way. The best uh, way of answering that question is to go to the people that have a lot of faith. A lot of people come in, they are very prayerful, they have the faith, but they are lacking in, in a small thing, let's say, bad feeling about somebody that abused them. For those people, uh, because they are so capable of, of, of shining, God will not uh, deliver because they have a higher type of knowledge, spiritually speaking. So more is expected of, of, of those. Because we get some people, they are not even Christians. We get some Jewish people or uh, 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 Hindus. or they, they come in, uh, they don't know anything about Jesus. Yet, He delivers so fully. They get the full healing. So the, 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 that, that um, question cannot be answered in a, in, a, in a simple way. There is no one simple answer that will fit all cases. So every individual is, uh, is a separate case. Because I've, I've seen so many people uh, were regarded as the, the worst, yet they had so much love and deep inside of them God delivered them faster than the ones that go to church every day. I saw a woman come out of a wheelchair after being there for 10 years. 10 years! And she got out and she started stomping across the church floor. God knew she was going to do that and also knew that she was going to deny that He had anything to do with it. God, uh, God does uh, that for us out of His love and mercy. And definitely those people had some good things deep inside. And that healing definitely happened because God wanted them to uh, wake up to His reality. And at the time, the majority the, that got the healing that way, uh, they realized it was a miraculous thing. But afterwards, they went back to the physical type of thinking. And uh, the, the physical mind could not uh, grasp uh, uh, the healing uh, as such happening uh, right uh, coming from heaven. Um, so it was easier for them afterwards to think to themselves it was supposed to happen. Yeah. Does God still surprise you? I'm not surprised about anything. 
that God does. Because I have a very clear uh, picture, steady picture in mind. I know who God is. And I know what, how much love He has for us. Uh, and uh, that's the God I believe in. Uh, and God of, of, of unconditional love. Um, uh, I'm never surprised. <laughs>